Good morning everyone. Well, I am Ashutosh, your English teacher. And I am here with the first chapter of the second book which you are going to read, The Stars. It is the supplementary reader. And the first chapter in that supplementary reader is third level. It is written by Jack Penny. So let us begin the topic first. We are going to discuss the topic in detail. This is uh, the third level. Actually, it is based on a science fiction, which is written by the author Jack Penny. Jack Penny was actually and initially named as John Penny. His name was eventually changed to Walter Braden Penny, but uh, as his father died when he was three, in honor to his uh, the name of his father. His name was changed as John uh, Jack. Although his name had been changed, people used to call him Penny Jack because, uh, as they could remember, after that he has graduated from Knox College in Illinois in 1934. Penny and Margaret Gaist. Uh, they bo both were married. They had two children also. Jack Finney is also an author of science fiction and horror or series who was born in Milwaukee in 1911. He is best known for his books like The Body Snatchers. Finney passed away in 1995. When he had begun his career, he got success when he wrote uh, Five Against the House, his first novel which was published in 1954 and he had received a movie adaptation soon after it. After that, it became obvious that Finney's initial success was no more due. Actually, it was not like that that he has got the success by chance only. When the next novel, The Body Snatches, was adapted into one of the most popular science fiction films of the time, he became more popular because of the work which he did. This is the chapter, the third level, which is written by Jack Penny. It is about the harsh realities of war. War which has irreversible consequences. Thus, uh, people live in a sense of insecurity. It is also about modern day problems and how common man tends to escape reality by various means. Means we try to run away from the our problems we try to run away and get a deflection get a way out of our problems so in this story a man who is named as charlie he is having hallucinations hallucination means illusions dreams which are not true and he reaches the third level of the grand central station he reaches the third level although Grand Central Station has only two levels. Means uh, he reaches the third floor of Grand Central Station. However, there is only two floors. So the story is about a 31 year old man named as Charlie who experienced something bad, who uh, actually has felt something bad. One day while he was coming from the subway, he reached the third level of the Grand Central Station. Actually, it doesn't access. Now he describes the entire experience with his psychiatrist friend Sam. Actually, Sam was a doctor, and he goes and describes the whole incident to his psychiatrist friend. Charlie thought that he had experienced some time travel, and uh, he had reached somewhere in 1890s, a time before the world saw two of its most deadliest wars, World War I and World War II, were still far away. As soon as he realized that uh, what time he is in, he had decided that he should buy two tickets to Galesburg, Illinois, one for himself and the others for his wife. When he went to the ticket counter on the station of uh, Grand Central, means uh, third level station of the Grand Central, he decided that he should buy the ticket for his wife and as well as for him. 
अनफॉर्चुनेटली द करेंसी यूज इन दैट सेंचुरी वॉज डिफरेंट मीन्स द मनी वॉज बिफोर डिमोनिटाइजेशन सो दस द नेक्स्ट डे ही विड यू ऑल हिज सेविंग्स एंड वॉट इन कन्वर्टेड ऑल लो इट मेन बेरिंग लॉसेस he went looking for the third level and had failed every time now his wife was a lot worried and the psychiatrist sam who also told him that he is getting hallucinations in order to take refuge from reality and miseries of the mortal world since he said that you are running away even he distracts uh, by keeping by saying that people uh, keeps hobbies in order to get them distracted from uh, the reality and miseries of the world even he calls roosevelt uh, the frank uh, president of america franklin d roosevelt that uh, for taking the refuse he used to collect stamps so all those hobbies fall under this category so charlie thus resorts to his stamp collection in order to distract himself so that uh, he again get back and draws his attention towards collecting stamps but one day he finds a letter from his sam from his friend sam who actually go, had gone missing recently sam even wrote that he always wanted to believe in the idea of third level and now since he is there himself also he encourages charlie and luisa to never stop looking for it so that is the story where it explores the science fiction genre of time travel jack penny who is the recipient of the world fantasy award interweaves fantasy with the reality in the most futuristic production of time travel he discusses us he discusses with us about the futuristic projection of time travel charlie who wishes to be transported to the third level in the world of 1894 which is supposedly much happier and quieter place to be Hence, he tries to go back to the past and tries to live over there. So, it is one of the most concise and entertaining story about time travel. It is going to be very, uh, you can say, entertaining story about time travel. The question whether the third level exists in real or not is only in Charles Charlie's mind, and it can be inferred from Sam's letter also. The story also dwells on the theme of escapism. actually not only as a psychological refuge from the grim realities of the present day world but also as a desire to stay with the past or to keep the past alive in the complexities of the present means what people are escaping people are trying to escape from all the sorts of problems which they are facing today and hence this is also a way to escape to take a refuge from the grim realities of the present day also in the story charlie not only expresses desire to escape but also prepares and tries very hard a desire which is not contested by his wife either actually it is not like the idea is not like by his wife but uh, somewhere charlie is much more convinced that he must escape from this place sam is also happily escape with no plans and uh, to resort to his old profession along with schools of other people who cross the grand central lab he also tries to move away from there so two schemes seems to be an all persuasive means everyone wants to run away from the problems persisting in their life everyone wants to take a refuge to take a shelter somewhere away from that problem is it clear now you have to go through the exercises given in the uh, chapter and then if you are having any problem you can feel free to talk to me that's all for today's class now students please subscribe the channel and try to fi uh, read the chapters go through the chapters if you are having any trouble you can ask me on my whatsapp number that's all for today